This episode of the Fab Forms is brought to you by WD-40. To see their entire product line, visit WD-40.com. So here's, here's the deal. I know I owe you a Bipster video coming very soon. There's one more project that I wanna do and that's the project I'm gonna do in today's video. I'm trying to figure out a way to store all my stuff. One of, the, one of the things I'd really like to be able to store is like my planishing hammers and my mallets and have these all in a place where I can get to them easy and I can beat on stuff right there if I need to. By, by the way, I'm working on the Echo. It's just not a priority right now, but I will fix it, I promise. So in the past, I've seen guys make kind of metal deals where they can put their bead bags up top and they can kind of beat panels out. They got, you know, fixtures where they can rounding over dies and that sort of thing. They can kind of use their planisher and, and kind of shape metal. But, and then there's guys that have what some of you may know as shrinking stumps. So they basically take an old tree, they cut it off at the right height, they put this concave section in it, and that's how they use it to shrink metal. It's a shrinking stump. So I kinda, I kinda wanna do a mixture of the two. Um, I want something that I can potentially make into a shrinking stump at some point if I want to, but for right now, I'm just gonna use it as a table that's gonna kinda house all my stuff. I'll be able to put my bead bag on it, and it'll have a little bit of character little coolness, which I guess I could do that on metal, but I don't know. We're gonna try this one first. Now I got this idea because people make end tables like this. And so I guess it's gonna be kind of an end table slash shaping stump block. So really the process I'm about to go through could be used to make an end table or to make something with metal fabrication. So here's the idea. Got some four by fours that I've already kind of cut to size. And some two by fours that I've cut to match, roughly. A couple more down there. So the idea is when this thing is done, it's gonna be one solid block of wood. So the face of it on this side will look like this. The face of it on this side will look the same. And then what I'm gonna do in the center of these is I'll probably just put some slats in here on the top and bottom like so. And then in between them, I'll cut some pieces that go from you know the bottom of the top slat to the top of the bottom slat. Kind of fill that space. And then along with that, what I wanna do is I wanna take some steel and kind of band it up in a way that gives it a kind of rustic-ish look, right? So, got some hardware. Got some big bolts, some 16 bolts, and a bunch of these lag bolts, which I'll probably use um, for looks more so than anything else. But the first thing I wanna do is I wanna, I wanna bind these up roughly into the shape that I want with screws. Uh, make sure that all the, the wood's the right size and kinda of get it as tight as I can with screws and then I'll start making the metal pieces that go around it.
All right, day two. So yesterday when I was out here working, I thought it was allergies. I got to feeling pretty bad. I thought it was allergies. Woke up this morning and I was like sick. So I'm still pretty sick. Got a bunch of medication in me. I'm gonna try to struggle through this, but I wanna get this video finished today. So basically that's where we're at. It's more, you know, it's just a fab block, I guess is the best way to put it. So I can beat on. It's got a place for my bead bag. And then uh, maybe what I'll do is drill some holes in the tops of these. Some like five eighths inch holes where I can put like T-bars or angled pieces. You know, stuff I can kind of shape metal over. I can just kind of slide them in there and work them. And then when I'm done, I can pull them out and put them up. One of the other things I'm maybe considering doing at some point too is either stain it like a dark color or burn it. I might burn some of it. Um, just to kinda kinda age it, if you will. So make it kind of match what I'm gonna do with the metal. So as far as the metal goes, I'm gonna use this. I think it's like inch and a quarter by probably three eighths. And I think what I want to do is bend it in like tabs or in sections and then have it to where it bolts together. I mean, I can probably just show you, but you know, have it kind of wrap around, come up, have a tab on it, and then have this one come down and wrap around and have a tab on it and then put a bolt in the middle. Um, I can kind of sandwich this whole thing together really tight and it is screwed together, but if it looks like that's what's holding it together, I think that'll kind of fit the fit the idea of this plan like that that strap is holding this whole thing together Fills. That's pretty much what I came up with. So I did uh, a short one and a long one. And the main reason is because I think I want to make some kind of loops or something to hold my tools. I figure if this was in the center, it might take up some of that space. I don't know. Guys, I ain't gonna lie, I'm on the struggle bus. I'm hurting my hair. So, next step, kind of make one of the tools. I'll probably make several of them over the life of this thing. But I'll go ahead and make one, kind of show you what I have in mind. Um, just got some one inch uh, two stock and some five eighths rod. I'm just gonna weld this on in. Clean it up a little bit. A little cleaner degreaser from WD-40. I bet you didn't know that they made degreaser. What are you here? Are you here, whipper wheel? 
You hear that whipper wheel? Tool number one in the books. So basically you take a panel, you want to kind of round over an edge. So yeah, now I have a perfect surface to do that kind of stuff. Put a bead bag on there, I'm about to put, need some more beads in it, but be a good place to shape metal. And then what I'll do is like this tool here, I'll make a bunch of these. Like this one's just straight. I'll make one that has a radius to it. I'll make one that has a radius that goes, so I'll make one that has a radius that goes this way. So if I wanna, kind of work something around this way and then I'll make one that has a radius that goes that way as well. And that way, yeah. Really it's nice I can kind of make a tool for whatever I need. If I uh, get in a pinch, make a tool, I have to where it just slides in these and then... Really, really the only thing I didn't get to that I wanted to get to was I bought these little, these little rings. What are these things? eye bolts something to basically screw in this wood so i can hang my, t my hammers problem is my hammers are too big for that hole so they won't fit so i've got to figure out something uh to kind of hang all this stuff around the edge so i may go try to find some bigger eye bolts or eye lugs or whatever those are or i may just weld something right onto these straps right here so i don't know um You'll see, I'll give you updates. Probably gonna do something with the wood too, maybe burn it or stain it. Probably gonna let all this stuff rust up. I just want this thing to look like it's been used and abused and passed down from generation to generation. That's kind of what, it's kind of the look I'm after on this piece of equipment right here. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that fab block, little metal shaping fab block. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. Go do work, son.